Hi folks, it's been quite a while since I posted a video about my projects. 15 years ago, I made a CNC plasma cutter that had a 5 foot by 10 foot bed. We still use the machine today and it allowed us to make many projects that would not have been possible without the machine. I often wondered if I could utilize a portion of the 5 by 10 table to do CNC routing. In this video, I will describe what I did to make a system that can be both a plasma cutter and a router. The first thing I did was to weld on two pieces of rectangular tubing onto the frame of the table. This allowed me to straddle the water tray. I made a platform that could be easily removed by removing six bolts, three on each side. That way, if I have a 4x8 sheet of steel that I need to place on the bed for plasma cutting, I can remove the platform easily. The platform has four pieces of a quarter inch wall tubing that can span the five foot tray without much deflection. In between the sections of tubing, I used two inch angle iron. I drilled holes in the angle iron and then drilled and tapped threads in the top of the rectangular tubing. I then cut a sheet of 3 quarter inch MDF into six pieces and glued sets together to make three panels that form the platform. I drilled eight holes in each panel right through and into the 2x2 two two tubing. I tapped threads into the tubing and used a large diameter bit to countersink the bolt heads into the MDF. In between the panels, I installed some T-slot channel to allow for clamping. Here is a picture of the original Z-axis assembly. I had to make a system that would allow me to switch back and forth between the plasma torch and router. I ordered from eBay a linear rail ball screw module with 100 millimeters or 4 inches of travel. My existing stepper motor could be mounted on this new assembly. I made an adapter plate utilizing MDF to mount the old plasma assembly onto the new ball screw module. I put an electrical connector on the wires connecting the micro switch of the floating head on the CNC torch so it could be easily disconnected and reconnected. I mounted an old PVC barb connector onto the gantry to serve as a torch holder. The plasma torch can be swapped out by removing four bolts. I ordered a 2.2 kilowatt, 220 volt ER20 air-cooled spindle motor VFD and clamp in a package from eBay. ER20 collets are designed for use in high-speed spindles and come in a variety of sizes. This allows you to use a wide variety of bits and drills readily found on Amazon. I drilled holes in the clamp to match the threaded holes in the new ball screw module. I wired the VFD through the cable drag chain and soldered the supplied connector onto the cable. I love to play crib. Here is the router surfacing some stock to prepare it for making a crib board. Next I use a 60 degree V bit to make the lines on the crib board. I switched to an 8 inch collet and used an 8 inch bit to drill the holes into the board. Here is the final product. 
I hope that this video gives you some ideas of how you can convert your plasma table to do some routing. Thanks for watching.